Well, Astral, that's the first company on our radar. They report a rather good set of numbers in the fourth quarter. Mr. Savlani, who is the chief financial officer at the company, joins us on the show. Hi, Mr. Savlani. Thanks so much for joining in. Well, first things first, what looks very, very good is your margins. And your margins have come in at more than 20%, uh, you know, if we compare it with what you've normally guided of uh, mid to a little high teens. What's the outlook on margins from year on? Was there some inventory gain? That's where we saw this bump up. And what should we work with in terms of margins from year on? So margin was mainly because of the economy of scale. Contribution was highest in CPVC in Q4. And thirdly, the value-added product. Historically, if you see Q4 is always better for our industry and particularly for the astral. So because of the products, big margin has shoot up. There was no inventory gain into the Q4. So polymer price drop, uh, sorry, in, increase in January and February and again drop in March. So there was no gain in the inventory side. So this is purely on the operating front. And going forward, we are also bullish that on a yearly basis, we will be able to maintain 17, 18% kind of margin. So you are able to maintain 17 to 18 percent of margins going forward and most of it was uh, you would say because of the operational improvement that the company has undertaken. But Mr. Savlani talking about uh, volumes then what are you recommending in terms of volumes you've done well this year 19 percent in terms of growth. What can you uh, give us in terms of a guidance segment wise and blended wise uh, volumes for FY24. We are expecting minimum 15 to 20 percent volume growth in our pipe business. At AC also, we are expecting 20 percent kind of growth, uh, and uh, paint also, we are expecting 20 percent kind of growth. Okay, all right, uh, Mr. Savlani, you know what's driving this uh, volume growth? Is it demand or are you gaining market share? Particularly, I'm asking you this pipes business. You have grown by close to around 15 percent in the fourth quarter. For the year, it was 19 percent. So, uh, yes, you, you are right that normally the overall demand scenario in pipe is excellent right now. Secondly, we are gaining the market share, which you can see from the numbers also. Thirdly, the biggest things which we are foreseeing, that is, uh, we have opened up our East plant. And East plant has started contributing good numbers to us. Uh, initially, we started with our drainage product. Now, our CPVC and our core CPVC and the uh, PVC plumbing product have started from East. So that will also give us a good number from the East in the next year. Okay. Mm. You want to put a number to the market share? You're gaining market share. As per your calculations, I know it's difficult, but as per your calculations, what is the market share gain, say, in the last year? And what is your market share as of now? So I think still the numbers from all the players are not out. So it will be very difficult for us to know exactly the percentage. But clearly, we have gained the market share. Okay. Uh, just talking specifically about market share and demand, what is your current capacity utilization, sir? And uh, what are you probably envisaging going into FY24 based on factors such as demand? So right now, our capacity utilization is 60%, which is low because we have continuously said that we are decentralizing our plants and we are opening our new uh, geography, that's why the utilization is low. We are spending more into the capex. But I think now sizable capex has been done. But looking to the robust demand in the market and the way market share is gained by the Astral, we are very, very excited with the number. And that's why we are putting up one more plant in Hyderabad, which will be having 70,000 metric ton capacity. So from there also, we are expecting next year, first phase of the expansion will be completed. That will be about 30,000 metric ton which we are targeting to complete by FY25, and another 40,000 will be completed in FY26. Uh, one more thing I want to add, which we missed in our press release, that we are putting up one more plant in Gawati, where we are going first time into the lease model. We are not putting up our land and building, but we, are only, uh, we have taken the premises on lease, and that plant will be ready in next four to five months. There we are targeting to put 12 to 15,000 metric ton capacity, which will be operational this current financial itself. And the capex yeah, right. will be hardly 2022 20, crore rupees. Okay. okay. Uh, just before I hand it over to Nigel, I uh, just wanted a quick question with regards to your sanitary wear and your faucet wear segment this quarter. 
The reason I ask is that it is a new segment for you. There's a huge boom which is taking place in terms of home improvement as well as real estate in the country. So can you tell us what kind of numbers have you done this quarter? What is the kind of demand that you're probably servicing within this segment? Do you expect it to sustain or grow? So sedentary wear and faucet, we, we are very bullish. If you can see that uh, our press release, we have already opened 383 uh, showrooms in India. And uh, not our companies, but the dealers and distributors have opened up the uh, showrooms. And plus 177 showrooms are under pipelines. So more than 500 showrooms are committed. And this year, what we communicated earlier also, our focus is creation of network, not the number. Because we know once the network will be created, number will follow. So this year, another six months, we will be focusing on the creation of network. And then after, we'll be start focusing on the number. And we are very, very confident that this segment will also give us a robust number in the coming time. But for that, we have to wait for one more year because this year also we want to focus on our supply chain, our creation of networks and all these things, product baskets. All this will be completed in FY24. So the real number will start coming from 25 onward. But that doesn't mean that we are not going to deliver the number in this year. This year also we are expecting to give a good number in the full financial year. Tell us what is that number? Sanitary wear and faucets that you're talking about as you're growing your distribution chain? Last year we last year we started in the second half. So okay. uh, the numbers were close to about 22 crore in sales side. Uh, and this financial FY24, we are expecting much, much more number than that. Do, do you want to quantify it? And when does that break even? We are targeting that we should be break even by uh, year end. So FY25. By year. By, uh, 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 sorry, 24 yeah. will be break even, but that will be in the second half. First half still, there will be a loss. And what is the total revenue potential from the sanitary wear and faucets? I think it is too early. Let, let me finish <laughs> uh, the creation work and then we will talk about the numbers. Okay, you okay. briefly mentioned about that capex you're putting up in Hyderabad, you know, 70,000 tons, if I got that correct, uh, which will be coming in two phases. You're putting around 100 crores. What is the revenue yeah, potential are, from there? We are, we are putting up 100 crore. Uh, that yeah. will be again in two years. So two phase mm -hmm. will be there. We have already acquired the land last year. So there already we have spent or close to about 28 crores or something. So I think total will be 130 crores. So out of that almost 28, 30 crores we already spent on that. So we are targeting yes. that uh, that uh, plant will also give us a good revenue. But I'm not talking right now on the revenue number because we have to see the product mix, which products we are bringing into that. So when that plants will be freezed out, then we will be in a position to tell exactly the revenue number. Okay, cash utilization, can you just leave us with that? So cash utilization, yes, we, we are working for that. That's why you can see that the dividend payout has also been increased this year. And uh, plus we have a commitment of acquisition of this gem paint, which we have already acquired 51%, but cash outflow has still not taken place, which we are targeting to be completing by this June because we are waiting for the NCLT order, which we are expecting once this vacation bench will be over, immediately we'll get that order. And then after we'll be doing the payout. And plus we have a commitment of another 29% stake buyout from Jampain, which also we are targeting to complete in the Q2. So there we are targeting close to about 300 crore cash outflow will be there for that business. Okay, all right. So we're going to leave it on that note. Thanks very much for joining in and speaking with us. So that's Astral. The stock is doing well today, up around 8.5%. Good margin improvement. The company is bullish in terms of volumes going into FY24 as well.